Hello and welcome to my environmental art project, Pearsonia. This whole complex was drafted up, uh, designed, conceptualised by myself. Um, the, the project itself was to come up with um, a unique Victorian-esque kind of, um, you know, following Victorian building structures. So I decided to develop a shopping complex with a bit of a magical twist to it. So the whole the whole place centres around this this centrepiece, uh, this you know glowing orb that perhaps stems all of the give, gives gives the the complex its its magic kind of thing. Uh, having a having a play with blueprints, this was my first Unreal project, so um, I I did try and delve into blueprints as much as possible. You know, getting things to hover, spin, um, do, you know, doors opening. You can go inside every building. Uh, having a play with the colliders as well with Unreal. I, you know, I've really, really tried to delve into Unreal and have a have a good play. The lighting and the texturing is phenomenal. Uh, the like, the the just what you can get back from from Unreal if you really put into it. Everything in the in this scene uh, is is made by myself, all textured by myself, and um, you know normal maps, diffuse maps, any generated maps are my own. Uh, the only one thing that I can't take full credit for are the trees, uh, because they are down to a very helpful program called Treeit. Um, you know the planters planters are mine, but the the trees itself aren't. Uh, as I didn't feel like I had enough time to create my own trees, and plus, uh, you know, I wanted something that looked, you know, pretty good that I could just kind of put straight in. So the complex consists of two levels. You know, you've got your bottom level of shops, your top level of shops. Every shop is different. Uh, I've used, I have used this same shop model. Um, so you'll see that uh, you know the shops do follow the same model. Uh, however, being able to texture the signs differently, put different signs up, and change the lantern settings, it makes every shop look different. And that is what I was going for because it frees up on memory, so we don't need as many models. And it's it, you know it's it's very effective in in how it works. Uh, the centerpiece building, Pearson's Emporium. Um, so again, playing with blueprints, I, I wanted the clock to spin, and I made it happen. There isn't anything filling the shops, as I wouldn't say I ran out of time. Uh, I just wanted to try and perfect everything that I'd, I had, and try and make the best looking scene that I could with Unreal uh, during the second year. Uh, the iron railings are sculpted and designed by myself, along with all of the bits of scenery. I would like to revisit this, uh, populate it with some props, perhaps even make a game of it. Uh, to border off, um, to border off my city from you know nothing, eternal whiteness. Uh, I you know chose. It fit in with the narrative to have a smoke shield kind of kind of hide this this complex from the rest of the world. Only magicians know about it. And then my favourite part of, of my environmental art project is my bridge. Uh, my bridge is, uh, you know, I put, I wouldn't even say I put a lot of time into them. I just uh, you designed it, conceptualised it very well and had a really clear idea in my head on, on what I wanted to come out of this with. So, I'll jump into the canal, have a closer look. The canal is possibly my favourite part. Everything in this scene is modular. Uh, I have tried to make the, the level pieces as modular as I can. Well, I have made them modular. So, so everything can fit together and you can take apart the world kind of like a jigsaw. 
So this this has been my environmental art project and I hope you have enjoyed watching. Thank you.